How do y'all want wax lives? I think it's time to play a little Seven Days Die. Oh man, it just turned nighttime. I was looking at my map trying to figure out where to, how to get back to my home base here so I can stock up a little bit. And, uh, and then I hear the noise it makes when it gets to nighttime, and then I hear the footsteps of an on-fire zombie coming at me. Oh, uh, yeah. So, gonna try and make my way back home. Uh, like I said, I've got a little bit here. I got my basket last time, so I think I should be... I can't, I can't find a way out of this town, though, apparently. I am just trapped here. Unable. Seriously, town, where is the road out? I thought I could get maybe out to the north, but that wasn't happening. Uh, maybe I can still. Maybe I just need to go northwest, even though east is the direction. Look, I kind of need to go southeast to get home, this says. So I need to go this way. Where's that fiery zombie chasing me? Stay away, zombie. Stay away. Uh, yeah, it's, uh... It's been a pretty quiet day today. Uh, although, once again, they're letting off fireworks right outside the window. Um, they are enraptured with the firecrackers this year. Uh, <laughs> I also saw them out riding about on um, the go-kart. Oh, it's a poppin' pills. I seriously cannot find a way out of this town. This is, this is ridiculous. And because it's nighttime, I can't get off my bike to check. How do I... How do I get out of here? Somewhere there's got to be a road that leads out of this town, right? Yeah, we had a pretty big party for uh, 4th of July. I was, uh... I mean, it, it led to a long, long weekend uh, for me. This party did. And, uh... Okay, this is the second time I've been here. Somewhere... Somewhere has got to be a road that leads out of this place, right? According to this map, it's right here. Alright. I think we spent, uh... Friday, Saturday, Sunday... Monday, four days, four days working on putting down new flooring. The four hottest days of summer as well, which is crazy. Uh, I mean, uh, we might have hard days this summer, but those were the four hottest days so far. And, uh... Uh, so... I mean, it was it was hot enough that we went and got an air conditioner for someone who has never in 70 plus years wanted a air conditioner. <laughs> That's pretty hot. And uh, so, uh, yeah, we got all that done and then, uh, you know, they meandered around. Um, and then our 4th of July party was actually on the day before this year. Uh, I thought they were going to go to this other 4th of July party on 4th of July, but, uh, I don't think they did, like, I guess most of the people they invited were going to go to that other party. Does that mean they went to two parties? I don't know. I wasn't really privy to the discussion of why... They were having a party, and why they were having it on the 3rd instead of the 4th. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, 
was a lot of people. Uh, I was surprised at the number of people they had over. Which sounds like there's a lot, but any people over is a lot for us. So, uh, I think they, uh, let's see, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven, eight, eight other families, uh, and that's, uh, you know, husband, wife, kids, so, it was a lot, it was a lot of people, in fact, just thinking about it now, man, we must have had over 50 people here, that's crazy. Uh, all right. Let's try to see if I could just cut across through here. Gotta be careful, though. I don't want to drive off into a river in the middle of this. Um, uh, man, it was, uh... There's two of them that buy fireworks for this thing, and so between the two of them, they had enough shoot up in the air and explode kind of fireworks to run a fireworks show for almost 50 minutes, which was longer than the nearby town had fireworks, so it was pretty crazy. Uh, I have to say the weather this year, um, while it was hot, uh, was very anti-mosquito, so that was nice. Uh, last year it was terrible with mosquitoes. This year it was a lot better. I, uh, I don't know. Parties are too loud for me. I'm not a fan of groups of people talking. <laughs> They uh, they tend to uh, start at one volume, and then as they talk louder and louder so that they can be heard over other people talking, it just reaches a level that's terrible, and uh, which is pretty much the level my family talks at normally anyways, but uh, I... Uh, yeah, I hung out and put in my social obligation time, sat at the table in the hot temperatures and made the small talk with various people who felt the need to talk to me. Uh... <laughs> I might not enjoy it, but I can fake it. Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> one of the, uh, things always kind of makes me laugh is, uh, when I, um, I don't mind so much chatting one-on-one -on -one with people, it's just in groups, uh, I'm not a fan of, and so it's funny when you're talking to someone and, um, like, like, not my current job, but my previous job was all about people, which probably ties into some of my dislike for hanging out with groups of people. Uh, but uh, uh, during breaks, you know, people chat. And so I would chat with people who chatted with me. And, uh, and so... Uh, Usually there would reach a point in the, you know, getting to know someone chatty uh, where they would be like, I don't get it. You're, uh, you're quite capable of carrying on conversation, but you don't seem to want to hang out with people. And I'm like, yeah, so... Well, it's just weird to me that, uh, you know, you're not socially awkward. I'm like, N I don't see how those two things go together. Just, 
Just because I don't like to do something doesn't mean I can't do something. Oh man, I am starved to death. I am freezing. For some reason, I'm out of stamina. Must be because I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm running on a bike here, game. I am on a bike. I shouldn't be using any stamina at all, right? There's no sleep, so I can't be sleepy. Is that a treasure map on my thing? I should go do the treasure map. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I d so there was a, a probably... Uh, at least a uh, half dozen, maybe more teenagers were here. Uh, and um, so we have a pool, so they were all going swimming. And so they had scattered to various rooms to, uh, to change. And my sister-in-law uh, turns to her, uh, turns to my nieces, and she's like, uh, you guys can go use that other room, but make sure you close the blinds. Ooh, I almost, did you see that? I almost drove into the pit of spikes. And, uh, and so then my niece is like, yeah, yeah, we will. And she's like, but you know you wouldn't have if I hadn't have said something. And she's like, yeah, yeah. And uh, so then she turns to me and she's like, you know, it's not that she wouldn't think about it. It's just that she's that oblivious that it would never have crossed her mind. <laughs> uh, and so I later went into that same room because there were people hanging out in there. Um, and... Uh, And they had gone in and shut the blinds down. Dude, do I not have any gas? Uh, shut the blinds down to the point where the blinds were hanging over top of the air conditioner. Which was on. And I was like, oh well, that's... Uh, that's some smarts right there. And there are two adults sitting in the room. And I walked in, and I'm like, huh, it's uh, it's pretty warm in this room. You know, there's an air conditioner if you guys don't have it blocked like it currently is. And they're like, oh, is it blocked? I was wondering why it was so warm in here. Wow. Just wow. It's, uh, <laughs> I said, you remember when we talked about that situational awareness thing at dinner? Uh, yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Alright. Man, I can't believe I am so low on gas. I guess that was one of the things I was supposed to be grabbing while I was out there. I should have stopped at that passing gas I saw. I think I got some meat in here, right? Yep, some meats. Oh yeah, my hop seeds. I need to get those planted. You know, it's not so bad on here, because I do a lot of scavenging, but on my server... Uh, well, not my server, but on the server I play on every week. Um, we have, like, no alcohol, and... Uh, so I think we're just getting ready to start working on this hop stuff. Uh... I've never worked with it before. Is there a reason my lights are off? Uh. I don't think I quite understand how these battery bank things work. Uh, I thought it would be like a charge them up and then when the gas runs out, uh, continue displaying lights. But I wonder if it's not just a timed thing. I don't have any extra. I, I have an extra battery right here.
I'm I'm worried that my Okay, light switch is on. But there's no lights. Weird. Why are there no lights? Um, it's my wiring tool. There we go. Man, I think all my lights on top are out, too. Nope, just that one was. Weird. Alright, well, I got my lights back on. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, it was alright. I guess. Although now the rest of the week is kind of weird. It's, it's so quiet. Like, we were putting in so much work for this party, and then we have the party, and then Wednesday, um, well, uh, so Wednesday's usually, usually, uh, uh, D&D, &D and, um, oh, right, I was gonna make some bullets. Yeah, I remember now. Things are coming back to me. And, um, and then, uh, we do the comic book thing, and this week, uh, the, uh, guy who runs it, uh, he is gone, uh, some kind of seminar. Who schedules a seminar over the 4th of July? I don't know, but, uh, he went to a seminar over 4th of July, and so... He, uh, <laughs> I find it really rude that, uh, you would not schedule things when you do things with other people, and so he is horrible at scheduling things. Just horrible at it. And it drives me crazy. And do I have any coal? I think I'm out of coal. Nope, I've got coal. Oh, I've got tons of gunpowder in here, too. Uh... Okay, I would like to make some 7.62 ammo. I can make 63 of those. Let me check to make sure. Yeah, I don't have any, so... I mean, I've got some on my person, but I'm going to make some 7, 7.62 ammo here. Oh, it's because I run out of... Alright, well, let's make some brass. No, I, I don't make brass. Brass is what it's referred to. I want to make some casings. There we go. Do it. Make me, make me a million casings here. And, um, all right, well, give me some bullets for my gun. Should be sweet. Um, so, yeah, so he says, like, I, uh, I'm not going to be able to do D&D, &D probably. Where I'm going to isn't going to have the best internet. It might have the best internet. I don't know yet. I haven't got there. So I will let you know what we're doing. So he goes, and 
That was last week when he got there. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. So finally, at like 8 something last night, I see he's online on the chat program that we use. And I'm like, so what's the deal? Have you uh, decided what's going on tonight? He's like, oh yeah, I was supposed to let you guys know. Uh, yeah, we're not doing anything tonight. I'm like, oh great, so I spent my afternoon prepping uh, for a thing that we're not doing. Thanks. Thanks. There's other things I could have been doing, but no. No. You can't be bothered to think of anyone besides yourself, as usual. Alright. Potato seeds. I need 30 of those. And we want to do uh, 15. I don't know why I didn't just type that in. 15 of those. 15 of those. Oh man, I moved things around. But, uh, yeah, so we didn't get to do any D&D &D for the last two weeks now. Uh, in fact, the one guy said he was sick two weeks ago, and I haven't heard anything, not a peep from him, in two weeks. So, I don't know what that means, but... Uh, I mean, I love messages for him, but he's terrible at replying. I don't know, if someone leaves me a message, you know, I at least reply to it. Someone, uh, I make plans with someone, I usually give them a time. I don't just not show up and wait for them to ask me why I'm not there. Come on. And then the... <laughs> The other D and D game I was playing, they uh, they were here uh, for the party, and I was like, "Hey, you guys haven't uh, you guys haven't got to the next part yet? Here, what's going on? It's been over a week. Uh, I mean, I get that this is uh, when you have time, but it's been a week, people. And they're like, "Oh, well." Uh, you know, uh, some of them were busy, and these two weren't home. I'm like, yeah, well, one of those two managed to do their job. So, uh, that's not a great excuse. What are you doing that you can't be bothered to, uh, answer? I'm gonna move this down here. This is less, less foodie. But I see today they finally posted again. Uh, not the one that I specifically confronted. Uh, she still hasn't posted anything, so I don't know. But I see uh, some of the others have. Like, oh, well, now, uh, now one of them's gone. I'm like, okay, so we set this up specifically so it could be played online in text messages. Uh, did he take his phone with him? Well, yeah. I'm like, is he going to have access to his phone every day? Not that he has to respond every day, but, you know, it's not like he's someplace he doesn't have cell reception, right? No, he has cell reception. Well, then I suppose he could probably play. I feel like I'm missing... Where's my chrysanthemum seeds? Right? Potato, potato, corn. 
Uh, coffee. That's the goldenrod. That was cotton. Obviously, I made chrysanthemum seeds. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I tried, guys. Oh, 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 wait, 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 stop, stop, hold on. No, that's my actual cotton. Yeah, I simply do not have chrysanthemum. Weird. You know, I kind of felt like the game glitched on me here because the, um... Um, no, I'm pretty sure I plan a... Are you cotton or chrysanthemum? You look just like chrysanthemum. I don't know now. I know when I told to start making brass in the furnace, uh, or the forge, that I didn't have room for it, and it started making the clinking sounds like it was going so I don't know I'm confused now so I'm just I'm just gonna take this back I'm gonna put this away uh, I'm not gonna put these away though I'm actually gonna take these we're gonna make some stuffs although I only have three water uh, I have 89 jars so I'm gonna go get some water I haven't got the supply. Oh, I can't go out the back door. I don't have a path out the black door. The black door? The back door yet. Hmm. Yeah, but I was thinking, man, the uh, tonight's going to be a pretty, pretty quiet night. I got like nothing going on tonight compared to the last week. I actually jumped on here and doing this a little early because my my work is slow today, uh, and I thought this is where the water was at. I've, I mean, there is water over here, but I've basically run off the wrong direction. And uh, so I'm not quite done with work yet today, but I thought I'd. Jump on here and do a little work. Get a little seven days of die in. Although this has been pretty sedate today, too. Uh, I mean, the closest that happened for any kind of danger was that one fiery zombie charged me. And I jumped on my bike and left. I am still going the wrong direction, man. I can't. I can't do it. I can't go to where there's water. I just, I don't know how. Hmm. Ooh, I watched, uh, I watched, uh, mm, I don't think it was great, but I watched an All Right series on Netflix, uh, called Kiss Me First. Uh, I don't know why it's titled that. Like, maybe there was some reason for it, but I totally missed it in the show. Uh, but, uh, it was, it was all right. It was, uh... There's a lot of uh, fear of AIs, right? And which I, I just can't wrap my brain around. Like I get that AIs could be a scary thing, but I also know how computers work, and um, I I personally doubt that the sentient AI that wants to kill everybody can ever happen. Uh, I, I just computers don't work that way, so they would have to fundamentally rewrite everything about logic based programming <laughs> to get to that point and uh the a i s we have now are uh you know not that different than how computers work, so I mean. I don't know. It, uh... Anyway, this was, uh... 
Not that that stops me from enjoying shows where AIs are the bad guys. And so this is a show where an AI is a bad guy. And uh, it's actually a lot like the books I've been reading lately, uh, which made it semi-enjoyable. It just wasn't written very well. I mean, I guess it wasn't... It wasn't... I, I don't know. It was too shallow, I guess, for my taste. And uh, it was basically... Uh, it was supposed to be this, like... Why is that wire hanging down on the ground like that? That's... Why aren't my electricity... Why are... What is going on here? All my wires are weird on this side, and there's no... There's no electricity flowing through my electric fence for some reason. Why is there no electricity flowing through my fence? Weird. Anyways, uh, I guess I'll have to go take a poke at that and see what's going on. So, uh... Do I still have the... I do still have the wire tool on me. And, uh, anyway, so it was, uh, uh... There's this online game that everybody plays, and it's virtual reality. Um, and now, see, this indicates that there's no power. It says there's no power. You're powered. I must not be producing enough power. Did I take one of my motors? I don't think so. I might have though. I've got an extra motor in here, I saw it. And um and so this uh uh this woman she uh she goes and her uh, mother dies, and so she, there we go, just not enough power flowing through the system, I gotcha, I gotcha, you should be all set up now then, oh, and these wires are no longer, nope, it was over on this side, I want to check these wires that are hanging down, uh, anyways, and so she meets this, uh, uh, AI in game, although she doesn't know it's, Yep, okay, it did work. It's just weird that it's down by the ground like that. Uh, she meets his AI in game, although she doesn't know it's an AI at the time. And uh, uh, it is convincing people to kill themselves for some reason, but not like suicide. Well, one of them is suicide, but uh, like the one blows himself up and one jumps off a building and... Um, I I don't know. I guess there's no motivation for it and the uh all the convincing is done basically off-screen so you don't get to hear any kind of manipulation or anything. And um I don't know what it is with these these authors now and their fascination of having everything happen off-screen so you don't get any any part of anything anymore. It seems like and so, I don't know. It could have been better. Um, parts of it were pretty good, and they they try to get it to be like, you know, she's the AI knows everything. They keep showing these things to make it look like the AI knows everything. But it never really acts on any of it. And, and then they, like, try to get the girl, or uh, uh, the woman who's... Uh, the central character blamed for all of it, but then of course the police can't find her because she's so savvy by staying in her own house. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Just uh, 
It wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. I just wish it had been a little more in depth. I like my I like my creepy sci-fi like that to be more thought provoking or explore the issues in a little more detail. It it seemed like some kind of like I don't know, it's not even a good romance. I it was way too choppy and just didn't really explore anything that it was talking about in any kind of detail. Um, I guess the closest it got to anything that seemed like a semi-complete story is one of the characters is crazy, I guess, and uh, she is on lithium and refusing to take her pills. Um, that story plays out pretty good across the across the uh, uh, the episodes, but nobody else's story seems to really be very detailed, and so, including the main characters, uh, she almost feels like a non-person in the story, uh, and it's. It's really crazy because they talk about, um, I want to say the synopsis for it was an AI tricks a, a woman into impersonating another woman. And I'm like, that really didn't happen. So, I mean, it was like, she spent her dropped out of college to take care of her sick mother and you know super party girl shows up and so she goes out with party girl and dresses like her a little bit a couple of times but beyond that there was no impersonation no know what you're talking about um uh but yeah it did set up itself up for a season two maybe i don't know uh it was weird. Uh, it's based off a book. I didn't read the book. Maybe I should read the book because the series really didn't sell it that well for me. Um, I will watch season two. I, I didn't hate it. I uh, I just thought it could have been way better. All right, with that, click like if you like, subscription, catch the next one. I will talk to you later.